Well, many of us on this Thanksgiving holiday are thankful to be with our families and many other items. There are some recovering drug addicts who are thankful that they were sentenced to serve time in jail. News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joins us live with an exclusive look inside the Putnam County Jail. And Eric, a blessing in disguise for people struggling with addiction. That is correct. The people in this story are both either uh, uh, the, the people in the story are both current inmates and people who were recently released. They all say that they are lucky to be alive, or shall I say thankful to be alive, on this Thanksgiving holiday uh, because going to jail got them clean. Christine Brubaker and Skyla Duramis are both drug addicts serving time in jail for crimes related to illegal narcotics. I've been using on and on since I was six. I've been using since I was 11. Years of addiction has taken a toll on Duramas. If I go out there and I mess up again, I don't think I'm going to make it. I was, I was pretty bad. The same for Brubaker, who is a mother of five children with a sixth child on the way. And um, I'm hoping I can reestablish a relationship with them after I get sober. I don't want to be in and out of their life, so I've not even attempted to be in their life. And it really hurts. While incarcerated, both women are now forced to get clean, and neither one of them is complaining about it. Very. I'm very thankful. I wouldn't have a chance if I didn't get in trouble. Yeah. That's been a struggle. But Joshua Gross, show. Nicole Dupont, and Michael Durham are recovering addicts who were recently released from jail. They are still in the process of rebounding from years of addiction. I've overdosed four times. Um, I've gotten, went septic. I have... There, there's, there's a lot. There, there's no way I'd be alive today. Addiction just takes you down. You don't know, you don't know how. There's no control in it. What did it take getting your life back? Incarceration. What turned your life around? Going to jail. Receiving help while here inside the jail is one thing, but once inmates with drug addictions get out, they still need a safety net. I'm looking forward to going to the church. For this trio of recovering addicts continued rehab outside the jail and joined support groups to keep them on the straight and narrow. You know, I'm actually a functioning member of society for once in my life. But I never thought I would see the day that I wouldn't have the desire inside of me to, to use drugs. And then I'm going home and doing my And therefore, they are thankful this holiday. Would you be alive today had it not been for that officer or deputy taking you into custody? Nope, I would not. Um, I believe that that officer that, that day did save my life. I didn't think so at the time, but he definitely had a huge impact. Uh, my incarceration had a huge impact on my recovery. As for Christine Brubaker and Skyla Duramas, time will tell if their incarceration becomes a drug addiction success story. Now, sheriff officials tell me that uh, drug addicts currently make up 75% of the jail population there at the Putnam County Jail. Uh, we can only hope that many of those inmates tonight are very thankful to be alive as a result of being incarcerated. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.